Let's get to some breaking news now. 632, a commercial building fire in Sacramento. It's a two alarm fire, or was, at 65th Street at Folsom Boulevard. ABC 10's Monica Coleman is on the scene right now. Fire apparatus still there. The fire is out now, but we do have an update on what happened this morning. Keith, can you tell us what happened? Is anybody hurt? So no one is hurt, thankfully. We had uh, a lot of firefighters show up here on a second alarm. There was a heavy fire shown from a roll-up door. This is an older style construction type of a building. Uh, it's actually a very dangerous building because any sort of fire that goes to this galvanized type of metal uh, it can quickly uh, lose its integrity and start to, to, to basically crumble. So uh, firefighters did a good job getting water on the fire. Um, this is a rug called rug work. So uh, textile and, and materials in there that are easily combustible and, and burn. So uh, firefighters did a good job of keeping this from growing very big. And we're releasing companies and investigators here right now. And talk to us about the weather impact, if any. So the, uh, thankfully, we're, even though it's been red flag conditions, the wind is not strong this morning. It couldn't push any sort of embers. So any adjacent buildings and, and uh, the surrounding buildings were not impacted by the fire, and we're thankful for that. And speaking of adjacent buildings, you can see this brand new apartment complex right across the street. Was that a worry at all for fire crews? So anytime we show up and we're having a, a, a big fire in, within a commercial building, we know that that fire with, with any sort of wind, hot embers and different materials can, it can basically float away in that and catch adjacent buildings and structures and vegetation on fire. So that was a concern as they arrived. They quickly called for a second alarm to get more uh, personnel and resources here on scene to contain this incident. And they did an excellent job as, and no firefighters were injured as well. Was anybody else injured? Do we know about any employees? So no employees were here at the time of the incident and that's part of the investigation as to how did this fire even start since no one was uh, technically here. Um, so investigators on scene with the owner of the bu building uh, business right now they just arrived and they're going to try to determine exactly what happened. And talk to us, I see a lot of water hose here and that front door busted open. Was that a part of the tactic to get this fire contained? Yeah, so forcible entry on a big commercial building that's uh, heavily fortified, usually overnight, is one of the first things we need to do when we show up. It's gain forcible entry into that building, uh, b place our hoses and our, and our uh, attack lines in the proper places, to try to get water on that fire as quickly as possible to try to keep the thing from growing uh, big and out of control. We appreciate you and your crews for the hard work you did this morning. And when it comes to road closures, you can see down below, Folsom is still open. But if you want to come down 65th, it's going to be closed for some time now. But they are wrapping up here on the scene on 65th in Folsom. Yeah, Monica, thank you for that update. Good to know things were put out quickly and no one was hurt in that fire in Sacramento. Thank you.